Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Gardener UK. In my channel, I show you how to absolutely maximize your balconies, terraces, patios, and even your windowsills so that you get the absolute best out of your growing spaces. Today, we're gonna to be talking about tomatoes and whether or not you can grow tomatoes on a balcony, a patio, a terrace, or even a windowsill. Well, the answer, can you grow tomatoes on a balcony? Can you grow tomatoes indoors on a windowsill? Well, the answer is yes. But before you click off this video, you need to know a couple of things before you get started. Let's go get straight into it. Before we can get growing our tomatoes, we need to know about the two different types of tomatoes. So we have got determinate tomatoes and indeterminate tomatoes. Let's start off with discussing determinate tomatoes. Determinate tomatoes are quite compact and normally a, what we would call a bush variety. Now these will be absolutely perfect for containers on your patio, but you can also grow them inside as well. The major requirement for tomatoes in general is they have to have plenty of sunlight. So you need to be able to put them on uh, a patio or a windowsill where they would get eight hours or so of sunlight. If you're going to grow them from seeds, the best thing to do would be to have some succession planting because what happens with your determinate varieties is they tend to produce all of their fruit all at the same time and then once they're done, they'll then die. If you get your timings right with your succession planting with your seeds, you can have one plant fruiting and then two weeks later another one fruiting if you have the space to grow them. Then with our indeterminate tomatoes, they are absolute beasts. <laughs> These plants can grow six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet tall. They are huge and they take a lot of work. You need to prune them back um, and really keep on top of them. But those things will not die until they get hit by frost. If you've got a balcony that is large enough to host one of these plants definitely go for it but if you've got a smaller space like a patio certainly if you're growing them indoors an indeterminate variety of tomato probably is not the one for you but in true me style rules are made to be broken last year I experimented and I decided to grow indeterminate cherry tomatoes indoors. And I sit here and wonder why I'm single. <laughs> so I left a whole load of uh, cherry tomato seeds in this little pot. As you can see, <laughs> all the roots are coming through. And from this little pot, they left around about 15 tomatoes in that tiny little pot and I just left them as an experiment and as you can see they were still pretty productive. I thought I'd show you some of the variety of tomatoes that I'm growing this year. Now from my local garden store I found some patio tomatoes. Now here these are called trailing red profusion now these are going to be cherry tomatoes. And I also found a patio beefsteak tomato variety. And they are also determinant varieties. So these two, I'm gonna grow indoors. I'm gonna show you how I get on with those. But I'm also gonna grow some from seed as well. Uh, and I'll show you how to grow from seed. Let me show you some of the indeterminate tomatoes that I'm growing. I've got <laughs> a whole load of beef steak tomatoes. Now these plants will grow absolutely massive and they need potting up, but the weather's been so awful that I've not even had the chance to get out and pot these guys up. And then here, I've got some cherry tomatoes and these these are actually grown from a packet of Tesco's tomatoes. So basically I just had some leftover tomatoes in the bottom of the fridge 
and I grew these guys from the seeds of those tomatoes. If you've grown tomatoes before in your urban spaces, let me know in the comments below which ones you found were the best and I'll give them a go as well. If you're going to grow tomatoes this year in your urban spaces, join my Facebook group and, and be sure to send some pics so we can see your progress. I hope that you've learned something new in this video. If you have, give this video a like and if you want to follow me and see how I grow these tomatoes from seed, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that notification bell so you know when I next upload a video. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye!